Today, we're going to use GIMP to merge two photos together. Actually, there are two halves of a photo into one large photo. So we begin by opening GIMP and opening a file. The first file happens to be called Grammar Left because it's the left side of a grammar school photo. The photo comes from 1912. And then I'll open up the right-hand side. Now, at that point in time, what we see is the left side has 1126 by 1452 in, in pixel size. The right is 1276 by 1754. You notice the, the right-hand side has a lot of black on the top of it. I don't know why, but it does, does. So adding those two first numbers together, 1120 and 1270, whatever, it comes up to 23, or we'll call it 2350, something like that. And the other side, well, just for argument's sake, we'll, uh, we'll create a new image for 1800 on the height and 2350 on the width because we've got to contain both those images. Now, once we've done that, we go back to, in this case, the right photo, and we're going to rotate it a little bit. I've hit my Rotate tool, and I just click on the screen and, and just push it up a little bit. And when I got it to where it looks like it's nice and level, I can just hit Rotate, and that'll straighten that picture out. Now, I'm going to take that picture, and I'm going to, from the upper left corner to the lower right corner, I've got my Select tool, my Rectangle Select, and I'm going to select that picture. And I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go to the New Blank picture, or the, the New Blank uh, image, and I'm going to paste as a new layer. That means I have the original layer and then this layer. Now it immediately falls right in the upper left corner of that image and I'm going to use the move tool which is the four headed arrow and I'm going to push it over to the right hand side. I'll go back to the left photo and I'm going to rotate that and get that so it's nice and even. At which point I'll then copy that and I'll paste it as a new layer. Now that means I'm actually going to have three layers. I have the original background, which is all white. Then I have the right-hand photo and the left-hand photo. Well, I'm going to move that photo and uh, <clears throat> try to get it as close as I can. You can see I've lined up with the, um, the nun in the center of the photo. Not perfectly, but in order to tell, I'm going to go into the, to the uh, zoom and zoom into 200 percent instead I was at 33 percent this way I can zoom in really take a look now I can see what I've done uh, the nun is not perfectly uh, even here on her nose and her eyes aren't level and her mouth isn't quite right so all I gotta do is just move that and adjust that and get it so it looks right and at that point I'm gonna take my three layers and I'm gonna merge down I'm going to merge them all together into one layer. And once I've got that, of course, it's kind of hard to see. I'm so zoomed in, so I'm going to zoom out to about 25%, and then it, you can tell it looks pretty good. At that point, I'm going to take the Crop tool, which I've circled over on the toolbox, and from the upper left corner to the lower right corner, I'm going to highlight that and press Enter. And what that will do is give me a properly sized photo with, without all that extra space. From there, I'm going to go to the File Export menu, and I'm going to export it as a full-size JPEG image. After that, though, that's the original. It's you know, roughly 2,300 pixels wide. I'm going to scale that image to something a little bit more appropriate for the web. So I'll go to Image, Scale Image, and you see it has a height of uh, 2306 by 1460 and first thing I'll do is I'll type in a 600 there for the width and then all I gotta do is hit the tab key and that moves to uh, an appropriate auto adjust the size 380 for the height at that point now it looks pretty small but that's again because I'm, I'm looking at it in 25 percent mode if I go back and look at it at 100 percent mode to see that's what 600 pixels is going to look like for me. If that's not the right size for you and your web, then you may want to change that. 